Hello and welcome to Python Tutorial 16 on handling exceptions and raising exceptions. As we know from Tutorial 15, errors thrown during script execution are called exceptions. Exceptions are handled using the try statement. Now let us see the next format of the try statement. After the try clause and the accept clause, we can have else, colon and the else clause. The else clause is used for code that we don't need to protect in the try clause. Also the else clause is optional. The else clause is only run when there is no exception. Now let us see an example of this in Python. I already have a Python script and here is the try clause. As in the last video, this opens the numbers.txt file and prints out all the lines divided by 10. There is also a counter variable i which increments by 1 every time a new line is printed. Now in the end we have the else clause after all the except clauses and it prints found i integers successfully. Now we already have the numbers file here and let me run this script now and as we can see it says found four integers successfully so the else clause has printed how many integers it found successfully so the else clause ran when there was no exception now let us try to force an exception and see what happens. I'm going to change the name of the file so that Python is unable to find this file and run the script one more time. And here we see that the accept clause has printed, please enter the correct file name, but the else clause was not executed. Now let us go back and see another format of the try statement. Now in this format we have the finally clause. Finally is an important clause. After the try clauses and the accept clauses and maybe the else clause we can have the finally clause. So there is finally colon followed by the finally clause which is one or more statements. The finally clause is used for code that must always be run whether there is an exception or not. Also the finally clause is optional. Finally clause is useful for running cleanup actions like releasing file connections or database connections or other system resources. Now let us see the finally clause in action in Python. I have a script with the finally clause and it's the same script which opens numbers.txt but after accepts and else there is a finally clause the finally clause prints end of run now let us check whether numbers.txt name is correct let me correct the name and now when I run this code there should not be any exception. So I've run this code and here we see that the finally clause prints end of run. Now there is no problem and the finally clause is executed. Now let me force an exception and this time also the finally clause should be run. What I will do is change it to some other value which cannot be divided by 10 and now when I execute this script there will be an exception but still the finally clause will be run so basically the file was opened and it printed the lines 10 by 10 20 by 10 30 by 10 and there was an exception raised 
and still the finally clause printed end of run so finally is useful for running cleanup actions which are run every time whether there is an exception or not now let us go back and see another statement now this is the raise statement the raise statement forces an exception to happen the format is raise followed by the name of the exception this raises whatever exception we have specified so for instance i can give raise value error and give some custom error message that was not a number and this raises the exception value error and whatever error message we gave that is given in the exception we can give any type of exception in python by using the raise statement for example raise type error and we can type in any exception error message so here we get that exception and with the same error message so this is useful so that we can raise our own exceptions in code so thank you for watching this tutorial and see you in the next tutorial